Hello, you guys. I know I'm starting this vlog off looking very rough, but I figured we could just get ready together as we catch up. So first of all, welcome back to my channel. It's been a month, like literally probably since September since I vlog or uploaded anything on my channel. But my goal for this year is to be more consistent with the vlogs. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be doing daily vlogs or I'm going to be doing weekly vlogs. Vlogs. I'm leaning more towards daily, only they would cut off pretty early in the vlog, like probably around like dinner time, so that way I could get those up. But then again, because I kind of want them uploaded like the same day, so I'm not sure. I don't know exactly how I'll be doing it, but anyways, we really need to catch up. So some things that you guys <laughs> here on my youtube channel probably don't know is that i had started a job back in september i started a job and my goal was to start vlogging while doing that job but then i was like you know i'm more successful over on tiktok so i was really just making it a point to keep up with tiktok not so much youtube or anything like that but this year i'm getting much more serious about all of that um and the reason I quit my job wasn't to invest solely in social media it just just from the beginning <laughs> I loved it. I, lo I loved working. I loved making my own money, but there was just a part of me that just felt like I was so outside of what God was wanting me to do. And then it's just like thing after thing started falling apart. And then I was just like, okay, like, and you know, I was in serious prayer about it, constantly talking to Brian about it. And Brian was like, you know what? Like, no, like that's a decision you're going to have to make by yourself, which I understood his point so clear. Like he didn't want basically he didn't want to give me his suggestion and then i make my decision based off his suggestion and then be resentful towards him later and so then once my dad got sick this is another update once my dad got sick i was like okay this is the push i needed because i i say got sick but he had been sick on and off like he was just a very like his his health went to crap in 2014 went to crap he was not the same man and so that's why i say like he'd been sick on and off like he'd have really bad episodes on and off since 2014 well in december 2022 beginning of december he got admitted into the hospital on friday it was december 2nd and then like they sent him home but me and his wife were like fighting with them like no like we think he needs to stay in the hospital tonight like a whole lot of stuff happened but needless to say because all this happened i was like okay this is why i need to quit my job so i quit my job and then um he got sent home that so then now we're jumping back to the reason why or how my dad got sick and so jumping back to december 2nd he gets sent home december 3rd which is a saturday he has to get taken back to the hospital for the exact same thing that he had went to the hospital for on december 2nd so they admit him this time and we find out that my dad is in the last stages of life so they don't know how long he has his body can't do dialysis and if you don't know that, you only get so long of not being able to do dialysis before you are no longer here on earth. So you can only go so long without dialysis because all the toxins will be building up in your body. So he hadn't been able to do dialysis, so it was making him really sick. On top of that, he had gastric cancer. So we found out he was in the last stages of life. And then, so they're like, well, we can do this, this, and this. And we're like, okay, let's do it. So our whole goal was to be able to get him sent home and be able to do some kind of dialysis at home because we misunderstood what they were first saying. We thought that he was so bad because he hadn't been able to do dialysis. We had been known about the cancer and things like that, but we thought he had gotten so bad because he wasn't able to do dialysis. And so our hope was to be able to get him to a point where he'd be stable enough to do dialysis. So all of this is happening at the hospital. They've got him on like 24 hour dialysis and like, he, it looks like he's improving and so then the next day the doctors come in on sunday the doctors come in on sunday and they're talking to us and they're like everything we're doing here is life support like this is not to get him better this is not to get him back to where he was like everything we're doing here is life support and my dad has been very adamant on i'm not living in the hospital and you know like we respected that <laughs> like we've respected all of his medical decisions up from the time two years ago where he was originally told they found cancer in his stomach like we've supported his decisions ever since then with no chemo no treatment no cutting his stomach out like we respected all those decisions but the weird thing was is that like they could never actually find any traces of cancer like in, in any of his lab works like he had all the symptoms all the signs were there but like they could never find it in his blood test or anything like that so we just kind of were like 
we don't really know. We kind of weren't believing it because we were like, no proof, no case. Like, you know, that's basically what we were saying because we were kind of like wanting like the hard evidence that the letter was there. So once we find out that he's on life support, of course he made the decision, I just want to go home, which is what the doctors told him too. Like, you know, like you can go home. We don't know how much they were like, we give you a week max. So seven days, like we give you a few days to a week. He... He gets home that Sunday and then which was the third and he's home for about 10 days and then he passes away on the 14th and yeah so I was just like okay um that hurt it hurts a lot more than I thought it would it's really hard to um not think about it but I can say um it's getting easier to think about I think I'm just kind of in the stage where it's just kind of like I have to remind myself every day like okay this isn't gonna happen anymore this isn't gonna happen anymore like he's really gone and I, like, I have to keep telling myself like this is real like he's really not with us anymore and like I have to keep telling myself that because it, it doesn't feel real like it just does not feel real but that's kind of what's been going on with me like life has been crazy like I said once I started my job back in September things were just in a whirlwind like I didn't realize how many battles Brian and I faced in 2022 until like my dad got really, really sick. Like basically whenever we were told like, hey, just take him home and basically like just take him home to pass away. I don't know how to say that without sounding insensitive. We got, I kind of looked back and I was like, man, like 2022 was really like really trying to take me and Brian out. Like it really was. I thank God that you know, I know God and that I can walk with him and that I can find hope. So yeah, that's been life, you guys. That has been life and I know it's crazy. And then it's just like Brian and I, we just had a little rough patch in our marriage, which happens to everyone. So it's not like I'm ashamed to like share it, but it was probably like one of our rougher ones where it was truly just like, I don't know how we're gonna get past this, but glory to God and through God and through understanding God and one another, we did, we did. It was only because of the grace of God that we made it through. Oh, also while I've been gone, I hit my 50 pound goal of losing weight. I don't know if you guys remember when I did my goals last year and I shared them with you guys. I said one of my goals was to lose 50 pounds and I did, I lost 50 pounds in 2021 or 2022. Which is weird because I've actually been working on losing 50 pounds since 2020. But in 2020 was when I finally got my hernia repaired. 2021, I was figuring out a diet that worked for me, figuring out I was like allergic to dairy and stuff. 2022, I found out I had diverticulosis, so then I had to get that in check. And then once I got all of those things corrected, the hernia, cutting back and being picky with the type of dairy that I eat. Because it does depend on the type of dairy. Like I can eat some cheeses and not other cheeses. And so figuring out what butters and cheeses and stuff like that I could use it was all of 2021 and then like once I figured out um that I had diverticulosis and that I my body needed more fiber because it wasn't digesting the way it should the weight just started falling off so if you're trying to work out and get you've been eating healthy and you feel like your weight is not changing check into other health problems your hormones um checking to see if you have any digestive undiagnosed digestive issues or allergies or sensitivities because all of those play a role in whether or not you're able to lose weight life's been crazy but 2023 is gonna be what i'm learning the older i get is that your year can still be your year even if it's filled with obstacles trials tribulations and hurt like it can still be your year because without all those things, we don't grow. We don't learn. We don't, we're not edified through life if we never go through anything. That's what I've learned and that's what I'm doing this year. Um, I need to sit down and write out my goals. Those are some things that I'm telling myself this year. And my word for the year from the Lord is rejoice. So no matter what you're going through, rejoice. There's always good. You just got to find it. Just because there's always something to be joyful about doesn't mean that there's not always some kind of hurt in the background. That's not what I'm saying. <sighs> now I just need to get dressed. All right, you guys. So I am still working on my Bible study, as you can see. Um, I just turned on the oven to preheat it to make the boys lunch. I actually need to take that out of the fridge. 
Dino. Dino Maggie's. Something is burning in there. And then tater tots. This is lunch for dinner. I need to get the chicken in the crock pot, but I'm gonna wait because I'm actually. I'm watching a movie. I'm actually folding their laundry right now as I listen to this. All right, you guys, so I am currently making, getting dinner in the crock pot. We're gonna have um, like taco bowls. So whenever about five o'clock, 5.30 hits, what I'm gonna do is make a big old pot of rice. And I'm probably gonna do like a, um, a lime rice. I don't have any cilantro, so I can't call it cilantro. I might actually get some cilantro because I have to go to the store anyway for romaine lettuce because I want them to be like good hearty taco, uh, taco bowls. So I have like onion. I wonder if you could buy pickled onion at the store. I don't know, I'm gonna look. But um, so for right now, I've got the chicken breast in there. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes we were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down I wanna laugh out loud Talk a little deep Alright you guys, so I'm finally about to eat my lunch and then I have some leftover Sonic jalapeno poppers that I'm re-air frying. By the way, our microwave is an air fryer also. You can also roast in it and all that cool stuff. But I want to show you guys, I remembered we had these that we need to eat and these are these right rice, so it's right rice, so it's made from vegetables, it's not actual rice. Here is the ingredient list. It's gluten-free, vegan, kosher, and it's high in protein. So those are compared to other rices. Mm -mm -mm. All right, you guys, we have just arrived to a Bible study. And so we are about to head in right now. Got my little bag, I packed it. Once I finish the Bible study. Why does it seem like? Jacket makes everything harder to do. Got my water. Got my water. Got my little, got my little name tag. Now it's time to go in here and I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I had so much fun last night. I'll insert a few pictures here. The boys and I are about to start homeschool. It is 1045, so hopefully we can finish before 12 today, which would be awesome. I have plans today, but I can't say out loud just yet. You guys will see. And so, yeah, that is. So that is what we are doing today. So far, I am just for the day done up. House is cleaned. I had the house cleaned by 9.30 today. I'm so proud of myself. Go sit at the table with your book. I'm gonna go get the stuff. Yeah, did my chore. Even did even added a little extra chore of dusting today and I was done by 9.30, look at me. See, waking up, I, I, I've been telling people, I really feel like, and I'm someone who has never read like self-help books on success, money, nothing like that. But I feel like, and I truly believe that getting up early is the key to success because you have more time in your day to accomplish more things. And I stand on that. Anyways, I will see you guys after homeschool. All right, you guys, I brought them to the park. And then after this, I'm taking them out for pizza. I don't even know if y'all can hear me because the wind is so loud.
they love this rock right here. I don't know why. I'm gonna sit on the swings with the Ethan. And I literally just mean sit because I get real nauseous on swings. Isn't in my birthday yet, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Run and do it! Woohoo! Oh yeah! Alright you guys I did go ahead and bring the boys for surprise number two, which was pizza here at CC's. Don't do that, Ethan. Pizza here at CC's, so I'm starting off with a little salad and a little pasta. Boys got pizza. Okay, so we're gonna eat, and I'll see you guys later. Guys, again, and I cannot wait to see what this year has in store. No. For, us, but for today, I am so excited because we are talking best. Optimus stop. And I'm gonna share with you all of the goodies that I loved, drugstore and high end. I feel for some reason like I'm forgetting. Yes, yes, yes. Great job! Say good night, YouTube. Say good night, YouTube. I don't know nobody on your YouTube. Oh my gosh. Good night, YouTube. It's like you gotta be more involved. We're about to start the podcast. Good night, YouTube. Catch y'all later. Gang, gang. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. All right, you guys. Time to go ahead and we start to stretch so we can start school. Ooh. Feel free to keep your chest open here. Reach your arm up top toward the ceiling. Mm, that's tight. Cause I got the system of favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked They're like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All those second chances, they are nothing for us Yes. Yeah. All right, you guys, we are starting homeschool. Yeah. Got some little mental math here for Ethan, mm -hmm. letters and numbers for King and Bible study. And then Bryson is working on his handwriting motor skills and learning his shapes at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and get this schooling done. It is currently 1049. And then I will let you guys know how it goes. So fast, baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of All right, you guys, just packed our little bag of snacks for our movie day at my sister's. This is some clothes I'm giving her that's too big for me. So we got all the little snacky snacks for the kids and the little drinky drinks for the kids. My kids love these, so if your kids, like if you're trying to get your kids off soda, these are more expensive, but try switching them to these and then wing them onto juice, or I always cut my kids' juice in half with water. And yeah, they're so good. We are going to be heading out now. I think Ethan just finished giving Optimus his water. And so we're gonna head out. Y'all, this dog beat Optimus, stop. Let's go potty. All right, we just, well, we got home about an hour and a half ago. Probably around, right around three o'clock. Um, I stretched when we got here. We watched a movie and now I'm bringing Optimus outside. I forgot it was cold today because it wasn't cold yesterday. No, we're not. So yeah, I'm trying to let him go to the bathroom. 
boy i thought it was hot for some reason today when i knew it wasn't hot outside today i knew it was cold he gets distracted he's like always on high alert ready to defend me it's so cute look at him all like that because the little school bus is coming But yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Once Brian gets off, we're going to the gym. I'm making um, steak stir fry with rice for dinner tonight. It's gonna be delicious and nutritious. I need to buy some nutritional yeast. Optimus, go! Even when you think you're being quiet, you wake up your dog. He was just snoring so loud. Okay, so I don't have an updated job in a while. We are at the gym. It's been crazy packed here. I'm gonna try to show y'all. People, people. There's Brian. Like, everywhere. Like, every area in the gym is like this. Every single area. Do you want me to spot you? Huh? Oh, yeah. you're doing. Yeah, I should try it if you can do 85. <laughs> Always trying to do stuff. I'm about to get back to my workout. It's mm, so crazy in here. Good boy. And of course he gets right up as soon as I say good boy. So we are home from the gym. Currently cooking dinner. Got the steaks out. Got the veggies. Start with the veggies first so that way all the water and stuff can cook out. And also start with the rice. Had a really good workout today. It's probably one of the better workouts that I've had in a really long time. Ooh, that scared me that I've had in a really long time. Oh, tired. And then, Brian and I have been having a sweet tooth like every night. So I'm gonna make some brownies after dinner. So, well, I'm gonna cook them right now, but so that way we could have them after dinner. Something has been smelling like it's burning in our oven. <laughs> dinner is done got the oops got the rice at the bottom got all the meat and stuff on top it's gonna be delicious and then this is what i'm drinking mm, click it <laughs> rolls have no socks happy saturday everyone so I did not vlog yesterday, but I did TikTok vlog. I did TikTok vlog yesterday on Friday the 13th. Today's the 14th. I'm currently at my other sister's house, um, waiting for my sister that's moving to Arkansas to get here. And that's why I didn't really vlog yesterday. We were all just hanging out, spending time together. But yeah, I'm waiting for them to get here so that we can go ahead and just say goodbye and cry, even though I cried last night. But I did my thing to get here this morning. Here they come. Why don't we just text her and call? Call Man, going? I don't know if y'all are close to y'all siblings like I am, but like my si my sister that's leaving has been like my road dog, like from the very beginning, like my best friend, like my born best friend, and I just it's hard. It's real hard. Here they are. Is that <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 